Hey, how's it going everybody? I just want to give you a video on bath fans, bathroom windows, and why they're important. Um, so, I looked at, I read the code before, right before I did this video, so I made sure I had everything in my head squared away. So, in your bathroom, you have to have a, uh, a fan or a, a glazed window that is uh, three square feet and opens at least halfway. So one or the other or both. And why these are important, let me show you. I try to tell my wife, my wife does not use the bath van and she will not use the window. She likes it nice and steamy, but who can blame her? But this is what happens. This is our first house. We've been here for two and a half years now. And let's see if I can show you that. So our drywall, and I told you this was going to happen, our drywall is starting, the paint is starting to peel, and then the humidity is getting through the paint that's cracked and peeling, like that, and it's messing up the drywall. And now you can start to see, you can see the tape line from where the drywall was taped, and you're going to start to see all that all along the corner here. And then you start to see where, you know, well, in our bathroom, there's no real, um, we don't have any mold issues up here, but that's another thing that can happen. But here you can see the tape again, and it's just, it's getting worse. So in the, when we bought the house, there was, none of that was visible. So that's a big reason why you want to use your fan or your window. Also, you'll get mildew and you'll, you know, you'll, why can't I get rid of this, you know, black stuff all over? It's, it can, it can be pretty gross if you don't, if you don't have your bathroom set up properly. So here's some more. Let me show you some more. Now, this is just two and a half years of, I use the bath fan all the time. It just, I just, I don't know. I just use it all. It's just a habit. I've always used it. But for one person, one person using this bathroom every day to shower, half hour or whatever, and she's causing all of these paint and drywall problems and mold and mildew and all that other stuff that can potentially happen. So, uh, so if you have just a window, you have you just open it. That's it. That's the only thing you can do. If you have a fan, obviously turn your fan on. A couple things about fans. Um, your duct, you can do four inch duct, you can do six inch duct. There's a, uh, it's all in the code book. And depending on if you're using straight pipe or if you're using the flex pipe, that's like the spool and you know, you can move it all around, determines how far you can go with that pipe, with each pipe, based on the diameter and flex or straight. And then if, if you have a bath fan, I recommend you have this. We have this in our bathroom and we have this in our boys' bathroom, and we will have this anywhere that we have an exhaust fan in a bathroom in any of our houses. I've met people who have lost a portion of their house to fires um, from a bathroom exhaust fan being left on. They get their, you know, whatever it was put in, and then you get dust in it. This one's not too bad. But there's a little bit of dust in there. But some of them, we take them down when we remodel the bathroom, and you could you could you know keep it as a stuffed animal. What what's inside there? So, and then that just you know that just keeps accumulating, and then that fan is old, and if it overheats, and then there you go. There's how you have your fire. So what I recommend you doing is putting in one of these timer on/off switch deals. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can get them at Amazon, any of the big box stores. You know, what, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, and then if you just want it to stay on. See if I can get it to do it. There you go. Now that'll, that'll just keep it on in, indefinitely, which I don't ever want to do. I don't even think I've told my wife. I don't even think I've told my wife how to do that. Not that she ever uses it anyways, obviously. Um, so that's 
that's it. That's that's bath fans and windows in a nutshell and why they're important. You ruin your paint, ruin your drywall, moisture, humidity, all that kind of stuff. And uh, make sure you have a timer on your fan because no one's perfect. You take a shower in the morning, rush out the door, go to work, leave it on, come down, come back home, and your house is in, in a blaze. So definitely recommend the timer and then also make sure if you're putting one in you check code books for wherever you're at and the length diameter of pipe and the type of pipe so that you know how long of a run you can do so that way you're because it, it'll it'll basically just uh make the fan it'll just it'll make it useless if you're running too long it just it, it, it can't work properly and then also the fans have a uh, cubic feet per minute rating on them 80 usually like 80 110 and then you know they vary depending on the fan and the brand um, let's see there was something else that just popped into my head what was it so one of the other things you need to do when you do your uh, exhaust fan is it has to vent outside you can't have it venting into your attic or into another room. It needs to vent directly outside and um, not into another duct somewhere. So if you if you can't do ducts like it's plumbing and just have a whole bunch connect together and then going out somewhere, they all have to have their own outlet to the exterior of the house. If you guys like the videos that we're posting, uh, like and subscribe, put a comment, let us know what you think, um, share our videos with your friends. We try to do videos at least once a week um, on topics that uh, homeowners will find useful. Um, we appreciate everyone that subscribed so far, that likes, comments, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. And. Uh, We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.